Oh man, the timing on that was good. Hell yeah. Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. I just got here with my coffee right as the cutscene ended. Look how good that is. Modrina Bobo. S. Tachyon, it's good to see you. Naya Erebus. Aether Hamera. Yo, yo, yo. Regalicus. Sam. Christ. Vengeful, your name, I have it on black background, and the colour that your name is in makes it almost impossible to read for me. Wow. Divinations, Full Brumby, Calvin, Feathers, Sinadrin, Ignis, Robo007, Megusi. My dream is for these streams to go to the point that it's impossible for me to read all your names. Etsaru, you will enjoy today's stream. <laughs> Sorry, is that a prediction? Do you know what, you, what that's for? <laughs> Um, oh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, so let's jump in. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about what's happened over the past 24 hours. Not much, frankly. It's so weird. Have you guys ever had this experience, right? If you're waking up too late, and if, you're, if you've got like insomnia, if you can't sleep, and then you're like sleeping through the first half of the day or whatever. Right now, it's essentially the equivalent of 9 a.m. for me, basically, even though it's 6. That's essentially the situation I'm in. It's like... A nightmare. Oh, I'm uh, I'm dropping frames now. Why might that be? Why might I be dropping frames? Something on the internet. I don't want to be on the internet. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll have to see. You guys will tell me if there's a problem here. Anyway, it's essentially nine, but it's like I don't know. You, you get so much less out of the day because it's, I'm not going to treat it like it's nine. Not really. You know, I'm going to do this. It's going to end. And it'll be the equivalent of like two in the afternoon or something, right? Two in the afternoon. You got a whole day ahead of you. I could fit in another like two or even three work blocks from that. But it's gonna be two AM. And for some reason it just it just isn't gonna work, is it? At two AM, you're gonna waste your time and you're gonna be sort of in a half zombie like state for some reason. Anyway. <clears throat> I always find that. Uh, so yeah, uh, Batman trailer was good. Yeah, yeah. I well, I don't know. I feel like I was. I want. I wanted them to change it up a bit and sort of forge their own way of it. I didn't want them to just copy Nolan with clowns with painted faces on and goth. I mean, Gotham is supposed to be a fucked up, gritty, crime infested city. Don't get me wrong. There's only so ways you can do that. But I, I honestly thought they'd go in a slightly different direction, especially hearing about the Riddler. I was hoping for a detective story. And that trailer just makes it... It looks like it's straight out of Nolan's playbook, doesn't it? It looks like a Christopher Nolan movie. It looks like they were like, okay, well, that trilogy was good. Let's just do that. And it's like, well, fuck. You could have just followed Tim Drake, air quotes. You could have just followed Robin, really, couldn't you? Except his name's actually Robin in that. You could have just continued with that continuity if you weren't going to change anything else. It's not like the Riddler had been used or whatever. So, um, I don't know. I, uh... Maybe Joseph Gordon-Levitt's a bit too slight. Well, no, it would have been fine. It would have been fine. I mean, Christ, we've got Battinson. So, I, I don't know. I, I, I thought Riddler, I thought we'd see something a little bit more detective-oriented. And there, I suppose there's a chance that all the big action sequences are in the, the trailer. So, therefore, they've left the juicy details, the dialogue-y bits, the detective-y bits for um, our enjoyment when we actually get in there. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think it looks all right. I'll watch it. I've always said this, I'm a bigger DC guy than I am a Marvel guy. Who the fuck is Iron Man? Seriously, who's Iron Man? <clears throat> sniff, sniff, if I'm not mistaken, that's the piquant scent of coral shell that clings closely to your clothes. Okay, so, over to Final Fantasy. We have finished a ton of filler quests, and I can now cash them in. Look at this. So I'm just going to cash these in here in the Ruby Sea. As far as I know, there's no real dialogue here. I'm scan reading here. Sorry, I know that's not too entertaining for you guys. Will you play with me now? Oh, he will. So I have to do his quest and then he'll play with me. Deck of Kings. Shit. Three random are face up. Order is chaos. Sudden death. If a match ends in a draw, a new deciding match is played. Now, so there's three rules, but two of them aren't even that interesting. All right, so it's basically just a chaos game. I'm 
forced to play Noctis. Oh wow, he has Siren. That's quite interesting. Hmm. He doesn't seem to have any big attackers from underneath, so I'm going to gamble this. These hidden cards might be able to flip me. Which ones are my hidden cards? Does he know? Oh shit, this is good. If I take Lucia, she's double eight up there. Oh, this guy's struggling. Oh, I get the seven on the bottom. Oh, I win. I just won. Chucky. I lost? Kami, forgive me. I should never have dozed off while polishing our Guardian Spirit's shell. I promise it shall never happen again. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, uh, let's turn up the game, as I often forget at the start here. Now, honestly, I was thinking... I was thinking of maybe changing more stuff from the in-combat versus out-of-combat phases. I don't know what exactly I want to do. And I could turn these up. I feel like I need to turn other PCs down because of those duties, how loud everything is in duties. But I'm not entirely sure, honestly. I don't know whether the listening position is more important. Like, if I went to camera, would that fix it in the uh, duties? Would this make footsteps really loud? Uh, what happened there? Sorry. I accidentally cancelled the trade, did I? Stage panel, indirect stand lighting, indirect lighting, indirect wall lighting, table orchestration, all the music from the world all on your palm of your table. Okay, so... Um... Thank you for this. This is really lovely of you. I really, really appreciate this. I don't have any context for how hard that stuff is to get. I think we... Uh, this is so that I can green screen. Oh, an aquarium. Well, I kind of wanted to earn my own aquarium. Carpentry. I think I'll take the... Um, I'm going to say no to that. Sorry. I'll take the uh, the green screen stuff because that I can use that for the streams. Um, I'll have a look at the barding if that's all right. Um, but uh, the barding sounds really fun. I, I, I like that. But I'll, I, I kind of want to... The actual decorations and stuff... I kind of want to, like, build for myself or whatever and, and see. I, I don't want to... I know I said I like the idea of an aquarium before. That's very well remembered. Thank you. So, I mean, I'll look at this. Thank you very much. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. But, yeah, I'd rather, like, learn a little bit of that on my own. But, yeah, bro, the green screen, that's awesome. So, I believe we're being offered this free company, by the way. Um, so, if there are any spuds playing this game... I mean, maybe I just delay it and delay it and delay it until we've actually got a bit of a community in this game, and then I'll and then I'll I'll accept it or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. We'll think about that later. I've got lots on my mind at the moment. Let's let's see here. Okay, so let's go to. Um, I, I don't want to seem ungrateful putting that off. By the way, it's just I'm gonna forget stuff. Uh, it wasn't this menu. Oh, you know, it was that menu. Companion. Let's look at the barding. What was that barding we just got? <clears throat> Given five. Is that Ravena stuff, maybe? Damn, I hate that I can't move that panel. Oh, it's got like the red. It's got like red. It's like glowy a little bit. It's a little bit glowy, right? Would I have on the barding or Gul'dar? I think I did. What's the uh, hive helmet like? Oh, wow. I don't really like the kind of technology look, you know. I feel like if it gets all techy, it's not so good. Oh, I love the legs, though. The legs are awesome. We'll definitely do those legs. We'll definitely do those legs. I can kind of see doing both the legs and the thingy, so then you get all that at the back. But I'm going to stick with Uldar for now. I really like that. It almost looks better without the stuff around our, our, uh, our tail. Because um, now sort of you can see them. That's awesome. Thank you. Adjures, sub with Prime. Thanks, Adjures. Well, we had a sub almost instantly today. Thank you very much. <clears throat> when you played Guild Wars 2, Spud was the most fun guild you took part in, at least back when there were many amazing community events. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, the thing is, if I, if I spend all my time doing that stuff, I can't really... You know, it's like... Do you want me to stream or do you want me to... 
I don't know. Like, I'm happy to what we did with the, the GMs before. I really am. And hopefully through End of Dragons, if people want to do that kind of stuff, I'll encourage it as much as possible. But doing it myself, I think, is, is probably a bad idea. <clears throat> Ready whenever to convert the free company. Okay, well, let's put a pin in it. Rin, can we put a pin in it? Because I can use that green screen and stuff in my apartment in the meantime anyway, can't I? Let's have a look here how much XP I actually get. The Stone of Vitality work from a quest reward. So we have 91,000 we'll get. Wow, it's like a kill. It's like very little, isn't it? It's like a kill, that's how much XP you get. Does it use up rest XP with that though? That would be the most troubling of matters. Alright, okay, so there's still more quests that I have finished, but he's not a high enough level to do them yet. There's another one here. So I'm going to do a roulette, and hopefully the roulette will level me, the leveling roulette. <clears throat> you guys can play with me if you like. Just throw me a party, a party invite, and we'll see. set up a link shell for those on the data center but not on the same world so I can have an Aether data center that's all the stream viewers that play right and people could join that that sounds fun how would that go exactly Is that the creation of that how would that go oh. we got a, a prop. we'll do that afterwards someone remind me afterwards It'd be like a chat channel. Yeah. Sorry, chaos is the worst. What's wrong with chaos? Oh, 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 I'm scrolled way up. That's the triple try it. Yeah, it's, oh, sudden death is more interesting than what I read. I thought it was just it forces you into a rematch. That's how I interpret it. Oh, okay, so guys, I have, where are we? Our sushi. Get some bonus experience going. Now I have um, a new mechanic because uh, my Dark Knight leveled yesterday. Oh, oh, let me get the craft out of my brain at the moment. I'm really struggling here to just sort of wake up. Um, I have this button. It's called Blood Spiller. So it's a global cooldown weapon strike. As all global weapon strikes are. Like, so I can I can't I, I can't weave it. Like it has to be a part of my combo. Oh, I can't remember the one. But what it is is when I use Soul Eater or when I use Blood Weapon, I now gain blood. And I spend that blood on that attack, and it's a big attack. That's, that's the mechanic. So next to the diamond now, next to the glowing diamond, which shows whether I have my stance on or not, there's going to be a bar of blood. It doesn't really grow with Unleash and cut on AoE bits, so... <clears throat> um, I have no idea what this dungeon is. So yeah, uh, just keep an eye out for it. It'll be here under my cursor here. Uh, I also have this here. Oh, there you go. I can click that. So that was a little description of, of the mechanic, which I couldn't click into. Now I'm assuming as I go forwards through this expansion, my Dark Knight will learn more blood gaining abilities. It's weird how they kind of combine. Well, is it weird? It's it's interesting that they kind of combine vampire-y blood stuff. Dark Knight to me. Because they don't necessarily have to be the same. But, uh, yeah, so we're getting our blood gauge now. I, honestly, I have no memory of doing this. When did we do this? Is this a heaven sword? Or is this pre heaven sword? So here, you see when I cast Soul Eater? Oh! You're not going to see it anyway because the dungeon's too low level. That's weird. I had those abilities on the Void Arc. I did a Void Arc Alliance roulette yesterday, and I had the abilities. 
and that's Heaven Sword as well. Didn't I have him yesterday? Oh, maybe I did. I think he's going to try and knock me back again, so I used Arm's Length. I think that was the wrong note. It's a charge, isn't it? And Arm's Length just ran out. Heaven's Fury. I'll aggro it. Oh, well, this is not going to be as entertaining as I thought then. Because you guys can't even see the new mechanic. <laughs> but hey. So basically, it's Siphon Strike builds me MP, which gives me these abilities, the MP abilities. Soul Eater builds me Blood, which builds this thing. Soul Eater is also a little bit of health regen, so it's kind of for that reason as well. What I quite like is that the red looking skill icons um, build the red gauge, generally speaking. I think Salt with Earth doesn't. Oh, maybe a Bissell Drain. That would be cool if a Bissell Drain did. That would be a nice thing for AoE, wouldn't it? Cool, what a boring boss is this? Oh, he knocked me back. He was mad. I, he was mad I said it. Void Arc is 60 and this is the 50s. Yeah, so, but I thought... I mean, the blood stuff is post-60, isn't it? I'm on my way to level 70 right now. I'm 50. Oh no, I'm not. Wait, how does it work then? Stormblood gets you to level 60. Oh, Shadowbringers is 70. 80 is next to I thought 80 was now. Oh yeah, no, it's because I'm scaled down. I am on my way to 70. I am on my way to 70. It's because it's scaled down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got really confused there. That's how willing I am, by the way. That's how willing I am to accept I'm wrong or don't know what the fuck I'm talking about with this game. I was willing to believe there's 10 levels magically, like one of the expansions gives you 20 or something, and that I had been wrong this whole time. Just based on that. But yeah, no, it was the scale. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we What's that blue bit? I assume that's an ally. I don't know what it is. Can you imagine how different this game would have to be designed and how different it would feel if monsters could LOS the healer? Because <clears throat> it's like, how does the healer see you through all that crap? They can't see you through a wall, but they can see you through all of that. Interesting idea, isn't it? Tank would have to move quite precisely to be like... It would be mobs on one side, tank on the other, healer behind them. How can scaling confuse you? I wouldn't say I'm confused by the scaling. I'm saying I, 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 I was confused. I wasn't even confused. I was ignorant that the, um, the UI, like in Guild Wars, it would have coloured that blue, and when you mouse over. Oh, sorry, it would have coloured it a different colour green, and you would have been incentivized to mouse over it, and then it would have said you're true level underneath. It, it might be a mouse over in this game as well, but I'm not conditioned to do that, so I had no idea that it was a scale thing. It's not really telegraphed, is it? Yeah, it's not a mouse over or anything, and it's the same normal colour. There's no indication there, really. Unless that icon means scale, and I don't know. I thought that was... What is that icon? Maybe it does mean scale. Oh, it's an S for sync. Well, that makes sense. There you go. I do feel like in Guild Wars, though, you'd mouse over that and it would teach you. Can you go to classes jobs to see your real level? Where's classes job? I'm feeling quite low energy at the moment, guys, and I'm wondering if I just act a bit low energy, if it will be a really unentertaining show or whatever. So just let me know. I get a bit nervous speaking too quietly. 
Do I need coffee? Yeah, I've got coffee. It's there. It's just I've got, I've got to drink it. It's too hot. <laughs> It'll come in. Don't worry. I assume I grab these muscles. Yeah. Or maybe we have to kill him. Maybe me aggroing them and then them dying there is actually not a good move. Oh, is this the dungeon where we climbed the, the, the mountain? No, it's not. What fucking dungeon was this in, in heaven? G fuel for gamers. Have you got some sleep? Yeah, I did get some sleep. I did. It's my throat's a little bit sore. Um, I haven't really eaten. I've got a planet of grapes here. And uh, I don't know, when you're sleeping through the day and you've got like all the noise of the town all around and stuff, it's obviously. Um, it's a bit lower quality in it, really. Don't, don't, don't let me whine. I'll wake up soon. I'll, I'll be fine. A uh, little instant, little fighting. Oh, I never said. Okay, so also, I didn't just wake up. I have, I've been awake a bit. Um, and I finished up the Guild Wars 2 versus FF14 review the script. I've now, I would say, I would describe the script as 95% finished. 93, 95 percent complete. Like it's very, very nearly there. Now, what's going to happen is when I get to recording and I actually shoot the thing, I'll I'll remember stuff and I'll go off script a little bit, and then you know it will get rounded out and it will morph a bit. And there, there might, there's a whole section which I think is a bit weak, which I kind of want to go back to. One of the uh, points in favour of Final Fantasy 14, I think it's. Um, I think we've got to kill these. One of the points I want to make about FF14, I've just made very weakly. It's, it's just like a like two sentences, and my hope is that on the moment I can just use those two sentences to sort of talk around the topic and then move on. But it's probably going to stand out now because now every point is like a paragraph of like well constructed, coherent thought, and then there's going to be that, and I'm going to be like waffling. Luckily, it's like in the very middle of the video, so. You know, it's not the beginning of the end, which is the important bits. But still. So is this Somal, is it? Is that what we're climbing right now? I was hoping those other ones were going to spawn. But it's just like, okay. Healer dead. <laughs> Imagine being the tank, not realizing you're the tank, and asking if the tank's dead. Oh shit, I popped a cooldown for that and they instantly died. Now I'm alive, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I think I slept on my hand weirdly, so now my wrist aches. I think it's because I. Do you guys ever do that? You sleep like with your wrists, your like hand is bent a bit. So then your wrist is like fucked for the next... Well, it's not fucked, but it just aches for like the next two or three days. I get that so often lately. Oh, this is literally the Nidhogg one. Wow. This is Nidhogg one. Single eye Nidhogg. Stretch it and fix it. Oh, 
I like how I can't even really see myself under his giant head. Oh, should I break this guy out? Oh, it's Rin. Rin died. I, I did hit it. I can't believe I completely forgot the details of the Nidhogg dungeon. Uh, have you ever considered using a VTuber potato avatar? Um, kind of. Uh, very recently, well I say recently, a little bit back, I did some streams um, where I had, let's see, uh, I had this on screen. Are you going to load this? There she is. She's massive, right? She was smaller. But what I had was it would automatically swap the source. It would actually swap the whole scene, which is why I don't like it very much. Um, every time I spoke, when it detected microphone input, it would have her speaking. And then if I wasn't speaking, she would stop speaking. Um, so, yeah, I did do that for like a reaction stream of the big end of Dragon's Reveal recently. And it was okay. I think doing something a bit more real. Fuck me. Thank you, Astinian. I think, uh, I, I liked it, but I don't know. <clears throat> I used to watch a guy who played League of Legends. Fuck me. Was I standing in a flame attack that I shouldn't have been standing in there? I think I probably should have moved out. What's going on? Rin's out? Oh, we, we've just wiped, eh? Is that it? We've just wiped. Okay. I don't know what that was. Yeah, um, I watched a YouTube, uh, a League of Legends streamer where he plays Teemo. And on his screen, he has like a little picture of a Teemo. And what that is, is that's mapped to his mouse and keyboard. So while he's like mousing around, you see the team. It's like a little picture of a Teemo at a PC desk. And you can see him moving the mouse pad. So when the IRL streamer moves the mouse, you can see the Teemo's hand is moving all over the place as well. So, um, uh, I kind of like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. A part of me is thinking I'll just be doing face cam before this is all over. Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm edging ever closer to, to to getting out of the game altogether. We're just trying to find something. And uh, I'll probably try face cam before I end up. So you never know. By the end of the year, it might be there. <clears throat> People were all saying you should do the uh, that, that big challenge thing on the top that says uh, return to Guild Wars 2. It should be a face cam thing. I mean, my thing with face cam has always been, I kind of fell into this and it's sort of my brand, so I have one now, so it's beneficial to perpetuate that brand, right? But then I do have another belief and that's that there's actually no point doing face cam unless you are like top 10% of the population hot. If you're like really attractive, it will do something for you. Otherwise, I don't really know what it does for you. So, my fantasy is like, Seriously lift weights for like six months <laughs> and then do it. All right, I'm gonna move out of the fire. No, 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 but that's just gonna spin him. That's not good. I love this, the Scarlet Price. Oh, I see. Not only does he only have one eye, but Estinian's here using the other one against him. Therefore, he's even weaker. That's why he's such a pushover here. Stable price. Let's kill it. Is that an enemy or a jail? I don't know. I killed it. 
sorry to the guy who got flamed. So anyway, with all those thoughts on my mind about like face cam and stuff, it's sort of like, is there any point really thinking about VTubing? I mean, if someone said to me, hey, here's a little thing, you just, uh, it, it will just do it. Minimal setup, have fun. If someone just put that to me on a platter, I mean, I'm not going to say no. I think I think that's fine, but faffing about with it. I could have unmended that from range, but I feel like going for the Soul Eater at Malay is better. Doesn't matter really, but it's sort of a rule of thumb I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I can't even flood a darkness. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. I just don't have the mana. Get over here. What the fuck is this? You want me to revoke you? You honestly think a face cam would run counter to all my efforts to minimize the UI and give a cleaner game? Well, yes, but then I do have the little potatoes on screen. I've, I, I, I've, I've already compromised in that quest because there's the little potatoes down there, you know, in the bottom left corner. I mean, I've kept them a bit opaque. You can do a face cam opaque. I don't know, though. I've said before, I think uh, me personally, I like face cams a lot. I like watching them a lot. I'd much rather watch a stream with a person uh, actually there that I can see talking. And, you know, <laughs> smiling when they make a stupid joke that otherwise you would never pick up on. Stuff like that. I, li I like face cams. How did we wipe before? What the fuck happens? It's just because we lost a healer, right? Oh my lord, some of my gears really dropped. I really shouldn't have that auto cutscene thing off. I would have loved to have watched that. There's no good loot here. I'll commend Lusa Irum. Alright, did we level up? You guys are gonna be looking at this saying WP, stop fucking around with this. But it's fine, I'm happy to do it. Right, um Because it's not always that I actually care that much about level up. The tune with all the aether currents. Oh right, of course. My friend told me that they're changing um this UI on the next expansion. They're making it like a book or something. Do you guys know anything about that? Is that worth me looking at? Right, okay, so today we're going to open up on the Monk, and where we're going to go is over here, and we're going to do some of these blue quests. So does anyone want to pick a blue quest? Would you like to see the Price of Betrayal, Heaven Sent, or Knocking on Heaven's Door? I appreciate that... Actually, I'm not... You don't, you're not allowed to pick Knocking on Heaven's Door. Not that one. You can only pick the other two. I've started drinking the coffee now, and I can feel it. I can feel myself waking up. Can't do knocking on heaven's door till you clear the palace anyway. Yeah, I feel like, um, and that's another thing I want to do. I want to do solo palace of the dead. What do you guys think about that? I'll learn red mage and go solo palace of the dead. We'll do some streams on that. Heaven sent on dark night. No, I'm not doing them on dark night. It's a huge grind. See, I, I feel like if it's like a roguelike, it must be entertaining to watch. It's like, oh, is he going to make it? Now, do I have another one just there? No. You think I'd unironically enjoy it? Oh, I think I'd enjoy it too. The thing is, I don't think I would... Uh, I, I wouldn't enjoy it if chat completely dies and no one's watching and I'm just sitting there like an asshole for like 40 minutes at a time. <laughs> I don't think I'd enjoy that, do you know what I mean? Like, 
Look, if there's not an active chat, I can't do it, basically, is my, my feeling on this. I mean, in my own time, sure, but streaming? If I'm streaming, it's got to be an active stream. And if it's too grindy, I mean, what are people going to talk about? Unless you ran those predictions constantly, you know. Heaven on High is more enjoyable. The problem is, my friend said it takes about an hour per 10 levels or something. And if you die, you've got to go all the way back. The problem is that the first 120 to 150 floors are really easy and boring. They're just time sinks. But floor 50 is 100 is very intense. Oh, I do get what you mean. That's the worst kind of grind, isn't it? That's bad. Yeah. I totally get what you mean there. You respect my an anonymity, someone said? Yeah, I mean, I, I like it too. I, I really do. I'm, I'm proud of it, and I, I like that I've gone 10 years. I, I think it's cool. But, um, you know, at some point you've got to figure out, are you treating this like a real job or not? Do you know what I mean? And if you're making it a lot harder for yourself to grow and the show's less entertaining for people and blah, 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 blah. Sometimes the hive mind is doing a thing for a reason, do you know what I mean? And you've just got to accept that they might know what they're talking about. Can't be a hipster all your life, guys. There comes a day where you're like, damn. <clears throat> Sweet. Hello. So what I really want to be able to do in this game is sit there and now speak to him and not get kicked off, but it kicks me off. And I want to be mad at that, but Final Fantasy is so good with that sort of stuff anyway, I feel I sort of can't be. Alright, this is just an Aetherite thing. Aether crystal. Current. You! Yes, you! Do you know of the Ruby price? I know of the Scarlet price. Nidhogg was just casting it against me. The fortress in the middle of the Ruby Sea from which the Bakufu uh, soldiers survey the surrounding waters. The other day, we found one of their men stowed away on a ship we confiscated. A little bit of coaxing, he eventually confessed to doing some underhanded trading with Red Kojin on behalf of his superior. Seems he thought he could avoid playing the paying the Ruby Tithe by hiding aboard someone else's ship, but no one gets away with crossing our waters free of charge. As such, I'm looking to track down this superior of his and have him compensate us. If I try to sail to the Ruby Price and look for him myself, however, I'll be blasted to smithereens before I even make it halfway there. Do you think you could go in my stead? There's a man by the name of Ikaruga there. He's an old friend and should be able to identify who our captive's superior is. Okay. Can you talk and then slash sit? I don't know, actually. I feel like I get locked out when I'm talking, but then I'll do like a, you know, a, like a bit of movement and I'm like allowed to run around and stuff. So it may be true, actually. It may be true that I do. Can I not swim down here because it's too shallow? I I'm not going to go down this time. I think it's probably better to just swim on the surface. There are 100% well-visited Palace of the Dead streams. Well, I mean, what would you do? You'd have predictions? Can people vote on stuff? Like, I think a good thing about a roguelike on Twitch is you can you can influence someone's build and stuff. But I, I feel like this is, this is Final Fantasy. It's very bi binary. This game doesn't really have that kind of shit. Trade with foreign countries is strictly prohibited in our nation. The man, upon learning his subordinate disappeared, feared he could be caught and turned tail and ran. If what you told me is true, then he likely went northwest of here to seek asylum with the red co with the cogent of the red. I'm tempted to go after this man myself. Alas, that would require me receiving the necessary authorization, which could take days. Please track him down and arrest him in my stead. If he resists, feel free to kill him. Jesus. Whenever there's a story like this and we're hearing about a character a ton and I haven't met them yet, I'm, I'm always just ready for it to be like a weird race or something. Come on, Macon, swim down. I actually quite like what we're wearing as swimwear right now. It could be a lot worse. We could be in a big flowy dress that would essentially drown us if it was in real life. Pink. 
POTD is perfect content to do while you're having a discussion about game design and such. And we do end up doing that a lot. I don't even know whether I like that we end up doing that a lot. I really don't. I feel like I could just imagine someone's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll come, I'll watch a fun little stream. And then it's like all this like pretentious. Uh -huh, I know what correct game design is. No, uh -huh, I know what correct game design is. Or me telling chat that they're wrong for their opinions and shit. And it's like, it's not, it's not, it's not what it should be. That's why we wield the emo only chat. <laughs> I have empowered people to it to do that. The thing is, I'm wondering if that's too expensive, by the way. 7k? Does anyone even know how many potatoes you can earn a day? I don't think it's much, is it? I don't think you can earn that many potatoes per day. I mean, if you're a super active viewer, let's say I'm hitting five hours a day. Every day, right? How many potatoes is that? It's not that much, is it? You've gone from 30k to 11 in two days. 7k is expensive in terms of potato rates, yes. Well, I kind of think it should be expensive because like, I had two of... Oh, yeah, I've got multiple shoulder tackles now. I? I had two moments the other day where... Uh, oh, God, I've got to remember how to play this. I, I, I was like, oh, it's emote chat. I guess I'll turn it on. I wouldn't want to have that too much. I'm happy if it's every now and then. So here's the thing with Monk. I kind of think this class more than any other, I want my active effects down here. The reason for that is I want to see when True North ends. Like really badly, I want to see when... That's the main thing I want to know. There's also the matter of the, the empowerment from Twin Snakes. So I could centralize it. I'm okay tracking my eye up there at the moment. You never know. Do you know what? I think I want True North there. And Elixir Field there. I think that's works better. These are essentially buffs. They're all kind of buffs. There's like a logic to the, to like, they're like active effects kind of things. Obviously, arm's length is down here, but this. Well, I mean, we could do it that way if we really wanted. Or lingering effects, because like faint. And damage buttons are all sort of, you know, the rest of my index fingers. Index fingers. The rest of my index fingers because I have a great many my digits let's, let's put it that way <clears throat> hey turtle mudgy it's good to see you man it's a hard time for potatoes right now you went from 17k to zero yesterday how did you go from 17k to zero should I lower the million VIP do you guys think do you think 100k is more reasonable? Yeah, but I swear on someone on a on a bet the other day, someone won 100k, didn't they? Uh, like 70k. Also, people are spending them on the Go Back to Guild Wars 2 challenge, which is 2,000 a day. Bad bets on Kugane, most likely. You went from 17 to 0 because you was fooling and foolish enough to believe in me on a bet. Hold on, I did both yesterday, though. Not only did I climb to the top of the tower, but I made the leap of faith. Oh, wow. Well, hold on, though. I, I actually fucked up, didn't I, really? Well, no. I, I, see, I said no. I said I didn't make it because the spirit of the thing was to get there before 10 2. The letter of the thing was different, but I believe more in the spirit than the letter. Does anyone have a problem with that? <clears throat> I just want to say... If you believe more in the letter of the law than the spirit of the law, I think you're a monster. Unironically, I think you're a monster. And do you know what show has better taught me that than any other? Better Call Saul. Ah, so it seems he forced your hand. Perhaps his death was for the best. I'll send word for all that's happened, although I'm not sure I'll be happy to hear it. Ah, you are curious to know how I will inform him? That, my friend, is a secret wink. Ta-da! 
I like how we're talking about how it's a hard time for potatoes and stuff at the moment. And that's causing people to spend more on the Go Back to Guild Challenge. Okay, so we'll do Heaven Sent then. It's interesting to me that they're both Heaven. And this one has a downwards arrow on it. It's a level 60 quest with a downwards arrow. So I don't really know what that means. I should unlock all the porters as well. Is there a porter there? No. Depends on the law in question. I totally believe the letter of the law says for physics. All right, yeah, okay, but yeah, I'm talking about like legal. I'm talking about court system. I'm talking about the law as we would conventionally know. Redeemed highlight my message for 600 potatoes and you just type in minus 600. You always do that, Rocker. You don't actually have anything to contribute. You just throw in potatoes in the bin. I just, I wish I could see what everyone's potatoes were. I mean, that's really weird to me. Oh, look at how cool these fucking things look behind me. Wow, that's awesome. That is cool, isn't it? Why is that a quest? Hey, you'll see it. Look at how cool that UI is. Look at how cool that is. And look, when I finish Soul Eater, it will build a bit. Oh... Oh, the actual final ability to finish it off isn't really that exciting to me. Oh, we're going to use it. There it is. Activate, explode purple. Blood spiller. There you go. That's the extent of the, the change. <laughs> 2.6k to 600. Wait, is that the leaderboard? Yeah, I just, I feel like there should be a leaderboard system. Why wouldn't Twitch add one? Like, that seems like the most obvious thing you should do to get people invested in your channel points, right? Like, I don't even think there's an extension that I could install in one of the panels below that does that. Now, I have seen, now, since you guys are engaging in a conversation about this at the moment, I have seen there are, like, little mini games and shit that you can play and you can spend channel points on. That is so cool. I, I absolutely love those blades. The thing is, um, every those extensions are weird because it's just like it's like you spend channel points or bits. It's like all money, money, money bits, and I don't use bits, so I don't know. I don't know which ones are actually good or fun or whatever. Look, since my potato redeems, I apparently get ignored for being a mod. I've got to spend them somehow. Hold on, <laughs> what did I ignore? You're, 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 always, you're always welcome to no longer be a mod, I'll tell you that. However, I will just remind you, none of my other mods are around except Kerry sometimes. And she, she's not in active. She, she basically is VIP. She's like the one VIP. I guess Boots is technically a mod, but that's like a VIP mod thing as well. I don't see Flaganti around anymore. I should look at my list of mods and see. Maybe I should prune it or something. I don't know. I feel, I feel bad taking stuff away from people. Doesn't the down arrow mean that the quest is scaling down to your level? Oh, really? Well, what? That's that's interesting. Why is that among all other quests here? Why is that one down scaling? That's, that's interesting. Cave of Light redeems for Booba. Heaven Sent is a beast tribe. Oh, cool. Well, we're going to unlock it for sure. I've become thoroughly bored by these beast tribes, by the way. The Amalja now? Fucking hell. Oh, they want so much doing every day. And I can't even collect them all because I've got all these quests here. Look at all these quests I've got waiting for my Dark Knight to finish. It's like, I want to see the Kill Bill story complete. With Monago or whatever her name was. But it's just... Oh. Hello, the Vexed Villager. Oh, I should repair. That's true. There's a repair spot over there. Three quests a day. You never played well then. It's not three quests a day. It's three quests at tier one. And then it's like six quests at T2. And now I've got another three. It's like... It's like all 12 quests I can do every day. 
But I can't even collect them all now because my quest log's full. So it's like back and forth thing. Oh shit, it's that person there I jumped over expecting to see an icon. There we go. If I swap to monk. Long live the monk. Can I do that as well? That might be good. Oh, I finished off my uh, black mage stuff as well, by the way, now. So, Heaven's Ward Black Mage Art Gear is now ready and waiting for me. I tell you what, I just, I go through these tombstones like, n like, it's nobody's business. I spend so many tombstones, it's unreal. <clears throat> and I got a ton more coming up as well. Oh, he won't even speak to me. What, I'm, what a bastard. All right, have fun with your uh, your raid, Rocker. He's almost baiting people to riot now that he's gone, but I know better. Okay, the Vex Villager is keeping watch of the ocean. Where is that blasted boat? Should have been here by now. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. My daughter is returning late from Kugane, you see, and I thought to come and look for her. I can't imagine the Confederacy giving her any trouble. She's always been good about putting money aside for the Ruby Tide. Oh, gods, what if the Red Kojin caught sight of her? My dear sweet Shihumi. She only meant to bring home a bit of old furnishings to give comfort to our village. I don't know what I'd do if anything should happen to her. I know this is sudden, but you've the look of a man who could handle a bit of danger. Would you be willing to look for my daughter? She should be travelling close to the shore of Sapazu. Never change that music. Well, we can just go straight back now. Mod sleeping booba time. What does that mean exactly? That's why the game gives you extra gear for MSQ quests, so you can gear out your extra classes for something other than Tome Sons. Yeah, you gave me that advice yesterday. I can tell you're aggravated I'm not doing it. <coughs> I think on the next expansion, I'll, I'll, I'll have a real mind for that. You smell that, my good man? That was... Oh, wait, wait, wait! No! I didn't want to do this! Oh, wait, no. I'm on Dark Knight, so that's okay. That's fine. That is not the quest that I thought we were doing. Search. Oh, over here. Wow. Goodness gracious. Well, I'll tell you what. This map is a little bit tedious to move around, eh? Lots of waypointing all over the place. WP, the streamer that actively hates his viewers. What do you mean? I best not really give you guys that impression. You could probably unlock flying now. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I should use my compass and just like keep an eye out as I go. 332 to the southeast. Southeast down here. Somewhere. There's nothing wrong with spite streaming. What's spite streaming? Is that where uh, some poor fucker is... Well, poor fucker. I shouldn't say that. I love these blades. They look so good. Um, what am I trying to say? It's where someone's done too much of the website, but now they feel like beholden to it or whatever. And they've got nothing else going on. Or is it when a company's paid you crazy amounts of money to cover a thing and you don't really want to cover it, so you're doing it out of spite? Northwest. I should see this thing at this point, right? Oh, here's a setting I want to re-enable. I keep thinking about this, and I'm going to do it now. Oh, where is the option? Where is the option? Let's see. Let's think carefully. It's probably in system. Other settings? Should we play in J Japanese? I bet that would have to download a bunch of stuff. Um, <clears throat> hold on, guys. I'll talk more about whether I do or do not hate you in a second. I think it's... It might be character, then. Camera controls, event camera. 
Enable camera effects when initiating actions. That's the tilt thing, isn't it, that I always... Take off on double jump, target filter characters. UI? HUD? I wonder if anyone knows what I'm actually looking for right now. Targets? not here. Party list. Oh, somebody does know. Wow, Flare Heart. Well done. Many map directional orientation. General tab, I think. Map settings. But that's not the big map. Help. Play guide. So basically here I'll explain. When I spin the camera, I want this to stay so that north is always up, right? West is always left. East is always right. South is always bottom. That's what I want to do. Um, I've, I've played with this a lot and I, I've found it more of a hindrance than anything else. So does anyone know where that is? Yeah, Guild Wars has a set and it's very easy to find. You just mouse over and the little button pops up. This game, I can't right click or anything. Oh, did I disable it in Dalamud? I might have disabled it in Dalamud. You have a button on yours. Okay, I know how to do it then. Discard these. Um, we go to Dalamud. Plugins. I mean, update. Why not? Installed. Simple tweaks. Config. Okay, so in simple tweaks, it's under UI. Mini map adjustments. Hide compass lock. There it is. So now it's locked. There it is. Beautiful. You could hide the sun as well. I don't like hiding the weather because that's cool. Hide the zoom buttons. Hide the coordinates. Oh yeah, the fucking coordinates. It's so gross. I really. It's so gross. This this game's UI. Get rid of the compass directions. And that. There we go. I'll bring the fancy border back, but no, no. Right. Beautiful. Okay, so back to this. So it's northwest, so I know quite easily it's over here ish. Hey, though? North. It must be up there. Oh, yeah, it is up there. Right, okay. So, up this ramp. Right, now back to the real topic. Do I hate my viewers? What do you think? <laughs> no, I think what I was saying was, uh, yeah, like, if somebody um, if somebody's streaming too much and they end up, like, resenting what they're doing or whatever. But the thing is, I mean, I don't know whether you guys get this impression from me, but if I truly hated what I was doing, I wouldn't be doing it. I really wouldn't. I think that people have often wondered that with me, because they're like, oh, Guild they, they eventually fall out of love with Guild Wars, and they're like, oh, he keeps playing it, even though he clearly hates it. He talks nothing but badly about it. But, you know, if, I, if I'm ever criticising Guild Wars, that's just out of an enthusiasm to see it do better. It's not that I hate the game. And if I ever did get to the point where I hated the game, I wouldn't be playing it. It's, it really is that simple. So no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what spike streaming is really, but I don't think I'm doing it. How many bits to make you puff air out of your nose in a really annoyed way? I would be scared of doing that, because I don't do that, and I reckon I'd probably snot all over the microphone. You guys don't want to hear that, do you? I mean, I'm sure one or two can do. <laughs> uh, that's just the Aether Current, that's not the quest. 319 south. Oh, okay. It's, it's sort of towards where we're going. That's good. And I've gone it. Don't be too scared, but you're going to jump off. Good boy. No! Oh, what? What the fuck? 
Why is he the... He just did... He what? <laughs> he just kicked me off, got me killed, and then just stared at my body. What a dick. I did not know that would be a risk. I mean, I saw the crab, and I saw that it had, like, the red icon. I was like, so that means it will aggro, right? But I can just run away from it. That's what I was thinking. I didn't realize after I get kicked off, Macon would also be at zero health. That's Guild Wars screwing me there. Because in Guild Wars, when the mount dies like that, you're fine when you get off the other side. Unbelievable. My death got me a sub from Shardstorm. Thank you, yeah. No, I don't think that was my death. I think that was uh, the conversation about whether I hate him that got me that sub. Thank you. Is there a word for the streaming equivalent of negging? Is that what it's all about? What is it? That's, that's, that's when you're mean to someone, like romantically, right? So like... Is that, is that the thing? I don't even know to what end that is. Morning, morning. It's late as hell for me, but... Well, I say late. Seven, seven o'clock, is that late? <laughs> So that's coming as soon as I I'm scared now. I'm actually scared. It's like the game kind of has full damage, but then it kind of doesn't. 113 west. So this way. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. I know I can use the compass while I'm on it. Yeah, absolutely. I really like this map. I just wish it was a little bit more vacation-y, you know. I should just stream Sea of Thieves, that's what I should do. Just to show you guys how good that game is. I honestly think the overlap between Guild Wars 2 fans, people who like, like the fundamentals of Guild Wars 2 and their philosophies and their ways of doing things, they're all sleeper Sea of Thieves fans, every single one of them. If you really like their views on progression and, um, you know, content access and you playing the game, not the UI and all that shit. If you like any of that stuff, all of that DNA shit, Sea of Thieves is will be your jam, I promise. And it's such a gorgeous game. Right, so I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Oh, we're just meeting these guys. Hello. Let's kill this water sprout. Mind you, water sprouts would never... Holy fuck. Hello. Oh, he's invulnerable. He just made a big splash and left. Oh, I can see. There's a lot more emphasis on actually finishing my 1, 2, 3 now. Oh, he's back. If you don't finish the one, two, three, you don't get the big blood spiller. Is that the highest potency skill I've ever seen? I mean, it's only 600. My monk does 600 quite regularly, I think. Isn't tornado kick 600? I don't need to build anything. I mean, that's a damage class, though, right? Overconfident Kojin. He has slain two turtles. Stay back or taste my steel. Ah, please stay away. So Hawk has sent me a friend request. I'll accept that in a second. I can't in a conversation. Uh, I've come from Isari in search of Shihomi. Is he defending her, is he? From Isari, you say? Was it my father who sent you for me? My ship was attacked by the Red Kojin, but I was saved by this warrior of the blue. Would that we could have saved the cargo on board. Save the cargo? Very well. Wait, your kindness is greatly appreciated, but you cannot mean to go against the Red Kojin. Not alone. I love those guys. They look brilliant. Please, sir, you have to go after him. He was gravely injured in my rescue. It would be suicide for him to face them in his, in his condition. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, if you guys play this game and you want to send me a friend request, the more the merrier. Slowly building it up. Whoa. Have I seen one of those before? Funa Yurai. It's level 70. Oh, this game is definitely missing a bestiary. With how good this game is for everything else in terms of like the logs and stuff, they're really... It would fit in so well. And you just know they do it well as well, you know? Little model viewer. Bits of lore. Detail of what they drop. 
habitat. Oh, it'd just be so good. It's a hunt. It's a world boss. Okay. Look how cool the uh, UI looks at the top left there. Now, if I'm right, this crab is going to be the most annoying thing to fight. Shit, I interrupted the wrong thing. Whatever. Because it's not a quest mob. Alright, let's build up our thingy. Here we go. Blood spiller. Oh, it plays the little... Whoa! 8,272! I got a critical direct hit there. That was cool. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, it makes the limit break noise when it's finished, right? How can I fall for such an obvious trap? Thank you, Brave Warrior. Oh, thank goodness you're both alright. Why have you come, woman? I'm sorry. You were both gone for so long I began to worry and... Do not misunderstand. I'm not angry. I meant only to say this place is dangerous. But the red are gone now and your cargo is safe. Everything is there, yes? Why is he so nice? Where's this going? Chili 7. Chiliville, sorry. Says, do I like the story so far? Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. One, two. Yes, this seems to be all. The others would be so happy when they see the, these goods. Thank you so much. Then my worker is finished. I'd heard a lot of bad stuff about Stormblood, but right now I'm liking it. Wait, please. Can you at least tell me the name of the gallant Kojin who rescued me? My name? I'm Kabuto of the Blue. You, brave warrior, what is the name of the man who rescued me? I'm Macon. Pleased to meet ya. Macon, I should remember it. I haven't much, but please let me repay you both for your kindness. Macon saved my life. For another to repay my debt of gratitude would be a stain on my honour. Aye, I see. Then at the very least, let me give you something. Most of these goods are worn or broken, but if anything here is to your liking, by all means. Broken? Repairing them is a part of my training as a craftsman. Thankfully, the merchants of Kugane are willing to pay part with such wares for relatively little. Still, I hope there is something here that pleases you. So she's like a scrapper, is she? What is this? I think you set the guild or two thing too high that people aren't going to bother spending potatoes. Yeah, I mean, don't worry. I mean, it's a test, really. That 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 thing, that like challenge thing, is a test. You know, I want to encourage it and treat it seriously. But I I, I I had to know like what's a realistic goal, what's not. You know, it's very hard to know when I don't know what people have in their inventory and stuff. So, um, you know, I now know that whatever I set that at, I think is like two million five hundred thousand or something. I know that's too high. I'll probably cut it by a third, and it would work out whatever I'd want to do. It's not like I'm only ever going to go back and stream that game based on the, the, the arbitrary progress of that shit, is it? I mean, obviously I'll stream the game. Oh yeah, guys, when they do the uh, Echo Valley Forest stream in a couple of weeks, I'm not I'm not streaming it unless you fill that bar up. I'm not doing it. It's like, come on. What am I looking at here? Ah, that's a Karakuri puppet. Would that I knew who made it or how. Fixing it was quite the challenge. Still, the children back home will love. I would have this Karakuri. Karakuri. Oh, that is a fine choice. Yes, a fine choice indeed. Far be it from me to deny the Kojin who saved me his reward. Wow, he wants the little toy. Oh, that's cute. Maken, meet with me at the entrance to Tamamizu. There I'll present you with a token of my thanks. Okay. Did you guys say I can look like those? I kind of want to figure out what the most exotic glamour is. Take care, safe travels. Do you know what I mean? I, by exotic glamour, what I mean is like, how can I look the most non-standard? It's so like, Kojin is not a race in the game, is it? You can't be a Kojin. So what if I'm running around Thanalan looking just like a Kojin? People are going to go, whoa, look at that cool guy. He's different. You know, just like when everyone looks at Macon's face, they say, whoa, look at that cool guy. He looks different. I didn't know there was a playable monkey race. And, you know, I amaze people. You know, I'm just amazing to look at. That's that's what I'm going for. So what's the most exotic looking, like, glamour set, you know? Very old Mog stuff. Mm. 
male Rogadin serious glam. It's very rare you bother to look at other people in these games. Well, I mean, me too. That's the great hypocrisy deep within me. I'm not really interested in what anyone else looks like. Amaze is a very choice word for that, I feel. I don't know what you mean. I wouldn't have make him look any other way. Except like Kamari Runso. Oh, I really hope that that's... When we get there, I really hope that I can do some cool shit. I hope that I can like... Um, like, I don't want to look like Kamari. I bet everyone picks Kamari. But if I can look like Garrick or Biran... Garrick. Why do I keep saying Garrick? Is it Garrick Ronso? Biran and Yankee Ronso. If I can look... I think Garrick is a Ronso. He's just a, a Blitzball swimmer. Anyway, if I can look like a Ronso, but like a cool Ronso or like a non-standard Ronso. Yeah, see, like, Hornless? I, I wonder if everyone does the broken horn. Maybe I want to just have a big horn. You know, like, the big... Like, I, not that I'm insecure or anything. Not that I'm insecure, but, you know, if you could pick to have a big horn. But then I'm sure that people, I'm sure that everyone does that as well. Maybe I just got to go for like a little, 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 little horn that's not broken. <laughs> oh, here he is. I'm sure walking here was not the best thing to do. What do I think of the graphics compared to FF14, compared to those of Guild Wars 2? Um, I think this game looks really inconsistent. I think Guild Wars 2 has better environments and more like... Will consistently look better because it doesn't have the wild weather systems. It doesn't have such a big difference between night and day and stuff. That's what I think. As for like skins and stuff, this game probably feels better because there's less shiny things going on. There you are, you disobeyed me. This game also has more options and shit, so it's easy to like calibrate better. But generally speaking, especially from a pick up and play perspective, I think Guild Wars 2 thrashes this game. I think this game gets too much credit. But I haven't got to Shadowbringers yet, which is the newest stuff. Maybe Shadowbringers looks really, really, really good. So, we'll see. He saved my life, and so I wish to present him a token of my gratitude. I did not realize you were acquainted. Perhaps I should have taken my leave. Wait, Kabuto, where are you going? What is your gift for making? I'm currently trying to drink coffee. It's lukewarm. And it's so strong, it's sending shivers up my spine. I should probably stop trying to drink it. Oh, But it will wake me up. I was not even aware he was here. I came searching for you. How many times must I tell you not to go searching for treasure on your own? I read a running amok in the Ruby Sea. You know this. Yes, I went alone, and yes, I was saved by Macon, but I believe it was fate. It brought us together and rewarded me with a Karukuri puppet. <laughs> he likes the puppet. He really likes it. I will, I will not deny you're a gifted fighter, but it'd be foolish to mistake today's happenstance for good fortune. Though I suppose you've done worse in more favourable situations. Before we continue, I wish to add today's find to the treasure vault. Eh? Do they have a vault full of toys? Like cute little toys? <laughs> You seem puzzled, Macon. Ah, you think he means to travel to the Isle of Zeki? Allow me to explain. As you are well aware, the Isle of Zeki has become home to the most prized relics of both the red and the blue since time immemorial. Though the red guard it fiercely, they can no longer subsist on the plunder of the Imperials. Now they demand that we join in their work as mercenaries and as raiders. Naturally, we refused, and so they denied us entry to the vault. Rather than take us arms against our brothers, we have taken it upon ourselves to create a new treasure vault here in Tamamizu. To that end, we've devoted a great deal of effort in searching far and wide for treasures with which to fill our vault. It's like they're kids, isn't it? You know, that's putting the cart before the horse. You get the treasure, and then you build the vault to protect it. You don't build a vault and then say, all right, what do we put in this fucking thing? Let's go find some toys. It's like a kid's thing. It's like a base, you know? I like this so much. If certain individuals would learn not to wander off on their own, I would take comfort in knowing said efforts are not wasted. The others would only slow me down. You'll have to forgive Kabuto. He's stubborn as his shell is thick. But you're not here to listen to our quarrels. Come, let's make our way to the treasure vault. I want to see what they've got in here. It's going to be full of crap, isn't it? This is going to be cool. Um, Even if coffee hasn't affected you in the past, could this factor into your insomnia? Slow release of caffeine build up through that day. Oh, I'm sure that there's stuff going on there. I'm sure.
say that because you've had a similar issue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that is a thing. Kabuto, you've returned. What wondrous treasure have you brought us today? You can't possibly expect to build a vault on your own. Such a task is much too great, even for you. Let us help, brother. Sorry, I'm trying to talk with a grape in my mouth there. No, I work alone. <laughs> oh my, you never mentioned the puppet was a Kojin. Such detail! Such fine craftsmanship. The Kami will surely be blessed with the treasure so fine. I think I added a word there. Oh, look at how happy they are. <laughs> Kabuto of the blue. <gasps> Is it Kabuto of the red? This, this quest has some Hildebrand vibes. What? Makura, was that you? Ah, what? No one walks alone, Kabuto. To turn your back on your brothers and sisters would be folly of the greatest order. Uh, Tsukumogami? Oh, divine. Oh, great divine spirit. We are humbled by your presence. <laughs> Make and get on the floor, man. Raise your heads and be proud. You have done well to gather such a glorious bounty. But the task before you is too great for a single Kojin. Kabuto, you must lead your brothers and sisters. Lead them to ever greater treasures and prosperity. You have been chosen, brother. I am honoured, truly I am. I swear on my honour, our vault will overflow with riches. But I need no help to... Silence! You will form a company of tre treasure seekers. Starting with him, Macon. Yes, you with the fuzzy tail. <laughs> Please, Divine One, there is no need to burden him with... I wonder what that says if I'm not a Makoe. Such insolence! You call yourself a warrior, but your prowess pales before the might of Macon. Was it not you who said it was fate that brought you two together? Yes, but how do you? You must accept that to which fate has bound you, Kabuto. And do so with all your heart. It's not fate, it's you. You're not an instrument of fate. He can deny you if he wants. Henceforth, you and yours shall be known as the Divine Circle. Who else should join you in this endeavor? Well, there is Zukin, Makura, and Shikitahe. I mean, that is, if it isn't an inconvenience. Nah, no, I've got nothing better to do. Where's your backbone, Kabuto? The duty placed upon you is both sudden and daunting. And so, and your uncertainty shall be forgiven, but only that just this once. Furthermore, until you prove your resolve to be unbending and your mind focused, I, Tsukumo, will oversee your operations personally. And with that, our team's assembled. Let us set forth and seek out the untold riches of the realm that even the Red Kojin will burn with envy. Your favourite thing about Guild Wars 2 is how some NPCs have open world voice dialogue and sometimes they're really funny. Yeah, that's something that game does much better than this game. But where they put the voice acting is very uh, different in the two games. I mean, it, it, it's good. It's good that Guild Wars has that, but when you realise the trade-off that I think the, person, the main storyline is a little bit more, is, is compromised and isn't as long as it could be in some, I think it's not a trade-off I'm actually happy that they made. I would give up the open world dialogue for a more sophisticated main story. A lengthy of main story with more voice acting budget focused there. Oh, I'm already friendly with them. Oh, so their beast tribe is just gathering treasures and stuff. I forgot that that's what that quest was doing. I forgot that that's what I was unlocking. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so what do they sell? Adventures. Fish for an aquarium. 
than a canvas. But when I rank up more, I get further with that, right? Okay, so there, there you go. That's their beast guy. Cool. And uh, there's a blue quest, which I can't do, because I've got to do Palace of the Dead higher. That's it, right? So, we can now progress with the main storyline with Lord Ian. And... Uh... Well, hold on, there is Yangsha, which I, I feel like I sort of rushed through Yangsha yesterday. I feel like I don't get the map as well as I should. Should we have a quick look at Yangsha and see if there's a side quest? You can get the turtle armor at sword at uh, swarm tier. Whoa. What? Oh, hold on. Let's look at something else. Um Oh, it's travel, isn't it? So, I could find a few. I would be done with the Ruby Sea, almost. I've done all the quests. I guess a lot of these are just Aetherite quests, then, that I'm looking at. Wait, there's still three maps I've never been to in this episode. There's the locks. Oh, the step. Which I have been to. I guess I just didn't get a single Aetherite, so it hasn't un un unveiled. What is this before Yangsha? So, probably a lot of these are really basic. Let's have a quick look here. The Wolf People Quest is one of the blue ones. It also adds a step to unlock the 777.777 Tribe Quest. What's the 777 Tribe Quest? He's lost sight of something important. I've lost my grandchild. Please help me search for him. He was right next to me a short while ago. I cannot believe I've lost sight of him so easily. He was asking a question. Sorry, a lot of questions about the one river. Perhaps he went there searching for something. Though I truly hope that's not the case. I've heard that a group of Lupin looters roam the area. Sounds pretty basic. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's the catfish people. Oh, they're gathering crafters, though. Tell me, have you met the Namazu that live in the y y y Yuzuka Manor? The manor can be found to the northwest. It was originally a home to a wealthy family. However, they were murdered when the Empire attacked. Three days a group of Namazu lived there. These days, sorry. They'll visit Namai every now and then, coming to trade fish with us. They'd shown an interest in some of the trees around here, so I thought to give them a seedling in return. Although the road to the manor is long and fraught with danger. Would you mind if I asked you to deliver it in my place? If you are willing to help, please collect the seedling and the vial of wood vinegar. The wood vinegar will help them repel insects. Please deliver everything. Okay. Another simple little thing. I don't want to grab too many of these. Here's another one. A pest problem. You have doubtless already taken the paddy fields. We rice farmers consider our paddies as ch children. Certain, they, cer uh, they certainly require just as much attention. Okay, will I help you tend? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, let's pick up one more and then we'll do these. <laughs> Who would like you to whack? What did that just say? They want me to go slow and then fast? Uh... Could I ask you with a problem of mine? It concerns some water serpents that recently infested the one river. They used to be uh, only found further to the west, but for some reason or another, they found their way closer to Namai. If prepared properly, they're quite delectable. However, there are far more in the river than one could ever hope to cook. No, their numbers must be controlled by other means. Please lay a few of them for me. Enough to stop them from taking the whole river for their own. Oh, and you should happen to get your hands on a few of their livers. Please deliver them to my husband. Yeah, Koha guy would like you to whack slow then fast. It's whacking day. It's the snake story from The Simpsons. Okay, so you want me to take this. 
Who would win in a fight, a Moogle or an Amazu? The Moogle would win, wouldn't it? Aren't they like elemental beings? They're like forces of nature, aren't they? Pretty sure the Moogle would fuck one of those little catfish things up. There's Sir, uh, just passing through. Uh, it's insane how you spent so much time in Stormblood when it's the worst part of it. What do you mean, um... What do you mean? This bit of Stormblood? Or this, or Stormblood is the worst part of the whole game? You would like me to tend to my fields? That sounds fantastic to me. There aren't too many young folk left in the village. And rice farming is hard work, let me tell you. Firstly, I'd have you remove the arrowheads from my fields. It's a pesky weed. That inhabits the growth of ri inhibits the growth of rice plants. Come speak with me again when you're done. I think I just realized what I want to follow up the big review with. I think after the big review, if it's watched and so on, I think I could follow it up about two weeks later, something like that, maybe a week, two weeks later, with another video which which I can produce after Shadowbringers, in which I, I it's much more focused on the games through the ages, and it's like the first section is ARRV Core, the second section is Heaven's World Heart of Thorns, the third section is Stormblood POF. The last bit is Shadowbringers and the Icebreak Saga. I think that kind of works as a follow-up video, and it's specifically beat-for-beat beat comparison. Just as like a curiosity thing. I think that works. And that way, my original interest kind of makes it. Once they've all flown from the cage, clap your hands. I've trained them to recognize that as a single signal to begin working. This is quite nice. You just grab all of these quests and it's just kind of like you're working in the farms with them. It's almost like this is emulated a renowned heart now. It's not the large burlap sack. The birdcage? Oh, they're so cute. What on earth? I need to clap at them, right? Clap near the sparrows to get them to start searching for pests. I clap for the group of house sparrows. Go, go, go. Oh, and they're off. Okay. Bye-bye. Is it just the once I get to do that? I thought I did that multiple times. Oh, wow. This quest is quite far away. You happy with that? Thank you so much for all your help. Okay. So I can't actually complete that because I'm too low level. Again. Oh, Alright. Well, we'll get these other ones. Whacking Day, I assume, is just kill some snakes. Wolves and weeds. Kill some wolves and press F on some bushes. <laughs> So fellas, what's the best minion? Why is it the Allegan Melon? This is quite fascinating actually. I guess I go down, right? Oh. Wow, I didn't even... Garnet was still at a bit of health left. That was a huge drop. Of a sort, of a certain description. Surely Garnet is about to level up. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's very calming. I like the music. It sort of doesn't really match the, the vibe of the place in terms of the conquered people or whatever, but still. I should have saved that for when he does his attack. Because he's going to do that big AoE thing again. And I don't have the MP to push through the damage this time. There, see? You see how the damage there ticked before the animation's even over? That's kind of the, the weird disconnect in this game with this game's combat system. Stormblood is only bad in comparison. Standalone is pretty good. I don't even think it's bad in comparison to Evans I don't think it's bad in comparison. Maybe a little bit less captivating. Fuck me, we keep missing, so we can't even get our combo going. I like that little moment in this game. You know, there's an AoE, you walk out of it, you proc uh, some range damage as you're running out, and then you, you sort of go back in. Like, literally, just what you watched is I, I run out casting Unmend and Flood of da Darkness, and then just sort of bob back in. I like that. That's a nice little thing that happens quite often in this game's combat, and it's a little f fun little moment. It's a bit weird on Monk, though, because I don't have anything ranged. The whole Alan Megan storyline just sticks out like a sore thumb. Well, that's interesting you say that because someone on the other stream said um, that the reason Stormblood is bad is because everyone wanted to go to Alamigo for years and years and years. And then the expansion ended up here at Doma for a lot of it. And that disappointed them. So, I mean, which is it? Alamigo sticks out like a sore thumb and it's, it's boring and irrelevant? Or it was underutilized? I can imagine seeing Girabanya on the map for years and years and years. And hearing about Alamigo for years and years and years. And then it just like doesn't go anywhere. I can imagine that very, very clearly. Let's spike with the two big hits at once. Can anyone tell me, does my blood go away? Like I'm out of combat now. Do I have to rebuild it or? Hello. 